Should we go now? Do we need to look and see how it is? Or is that going to be alright? I think that's going to okay. be fine. In fact, I'm going to include this bit in the first, first bit. <laughs> um, so. I know, can you believe it? Two years. Flown. Flown. Actually, 18 years. Since we met. Since we met. Yeah. Since we met. I know, same I thing, know. kind of. Life's flown by. So, um, I'm just trying to remember the first time... I mean, I remember where we met, because our kids, you know, at school together. Yeah, but where, yeah. But I don't remember the actual first time. I don't remember the actual first time either. And it's nice that they're still friends, that, you know, that they rent yeah. a flat together now. It's and, really you know, nice. went off to different unis and came back and, uh, you know, lived together. And but actually, our, got our kids have been friendly for a long time, and therefore we've been friendly yeah. a long time. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, so two so, years. So how did, how did we get here? What happened? How did we... How did we get here? Go, so, go um, down the well, hole. because we're post 35 as we just said absolutely all our friends are talking about getting hot so we were on a holiday we were on a holiday and it was hot and there were loads of women that we didn't know and they were sharing everyone was everyone sharing, was sharing, sharing yeah they sharing were caring moves. exactly we're on holiday all yeah. the inhibitions go everyone's chatting and then it was just like oh there's got to be a nugget of an idea here but actually what's so amazing is we decided to do this and it was sort of we didn't really think about it. It we wasn't like, oh my that God, this key. is quite a major undertaking. It exactly. Was just, oh, this will be a fun thing to investigate. Exactly. And I. Think, and here we are two years later. And here we are two yeah. years later. And I think actually for anyone listening who might feel like, I've got a great idea mm. and I think it's going to go, don't think too much. Don't just do it. Anything. I literally we'll never do, do anything. Yeah, exactly. Just go for it. Because if we had thought yeah. too much about it, if we thought, actually, if we'd really thought about yeah. it. Yeah, and I think if I'd realised how, I mean, it's hard work. It's, it's hard work. It's hard work, yeah. yeah. I shut down my other business. Yeah. <laughs> it was meant to be, they were meant to run in tandem, like two nice ponies, bit of fun prancing, on the side. but one pony died and had to be left by yeah. the roadside. The other one Well, I'm glad you chose <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, no, it's, um, it's been a roller coaster. It's been a roller coaster. So, what's your high? I was going to say, high? what are the highlights? Well, I think of the launch. The launch was Actually, fun. it's, it's like fun. your child. It's been, yeah. oh my God, we produced. And I think also, I remember when we had our um, design help with uh, which collection was it? It's when we did our um, jumpsuits. Yeah. With the Cashman Mix collection. Yeah. And I remember Cashman, our designer, saying to me, you know, you should be so proud of yourselves. You've launched a label. And I thought, yeah, you know, yeah. it hadn't really hit yeah. me until then that actually, gosh, we've got a label out there, yeah. and this is this is real. It's not, you know, it's because sometimes you get so involved in, you know, the minute detail of what you're doing, and you're sort of so engrossed, you forget to see the bigger picture and how other people are viewing it. Yeah, that's that's true, and I think actually for me it goes all the way back to the beginning. I remember when we our very first collection, we were folding it and packing oh, it ourselves yeah. into our remember? now defunct yes. plastic yes. bags, which are gone because we have only yes. potato starch bags now, and just folding them really yes. carefully with the tissue and putting the labels on yeah. and thinking, this looks like, like it's a real collection. Shop. Yes, yes, exactly. And it, Thank it felt you. so real. It was amazing. Yeah, it was really And amazing. I still remember, actually, because how great was it that Lisa Armstrong wrote oh, about us? That was... So that was really top. exciting that she wanted to write about us because obviously, you know, she's a well-respected, great journalist, and, you know, well, she, she put us on the map. Us. Yeah, she put us on the map. And I remember her piece came out two days after we launched on the Saturday. Mm. And I woke up in the morning and our phone, my phone was pinging with yeah, the with sales. Orders. And it was just like, oh my God, people want to buy our things. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. That was absolutely amazing. Because and going off to the post office with, yeah, all, the with all those boxes, that really gave yeah. us, I think that gave us validation. And it, yeah, and it yeah. made you think, gosh, firstly, we're doing something that people want to buy and spend their money on, but they come back for more. So we're actually, I mean, I think one of the nice things for me, and obviously we want to sell our, our products, but it's the comments we get from our customers. It's when, yeah. I love it when customers either ring or they generally email and say, you know, you, I mean, there was one customer recently uh, that she takes her night dress whenever she goes away because otherwise she can't sleep. And you just think, oh, I'm making a little yeah, difference. Yeah, there. no, it's nice to have that human yes, interaction, absolutely. I think, as a small company. That works really well because yes. if anybody calls, we're the one answering the phone. Yeah. If anyone emails, we're the one answering mm. back. If anybody DMs us, then that's us DMing you it's straight us back. Doing, it's um, us. Yeah, and, and going Hello. back to I do remember at the beginning, somebody emailing and I answered, and said, oh, I'm speaking to one of the founders. Like, well, there's no one else to speak to. <laughs> and when people say things like, could you put me through to your marketing department? Yeah. 
Oh, hold on. <laughs> exactly. You know, quickly change my hat. Accountant. Oh, exactly. hold on. And so what? That's a, the highs. What? What was the low? What are? You, what's like the main? Like when you think back, what was your like? What was your moment when you just thought? What am I doing? Like, what am I doing? What's going on in my life that I'm sitting here or yes. running around doing this? Like, what is going I, on? I tell you a low, and I think you'd agree with this, is when we decided to go into fulfillment. Oh my and we decided oh, to... That was, that was like just a disaster. Literally. Too boring to go into, but for wow. many reasons, yeah. we took it all back ourselves. And when they delivered everything to my house, and my <laughs> sitting room was literally boxes and boxes, and it was all disorganised, and we yeah. just spent that whole weekend going through it, um, sorting everything out yeah. and actually the low before that was to get it into fulfillment having exactly. to it was those tags the, uh, the it tags. was those tags I remember what are they called the, the yeah. um the barcode tags. Barcodes, that's it. Yeah, the barcodes. And we had to create the barcodes. We created we them create all them and we had to put them all on. And then we had to match And then it was all for a waste of time. Exactly. Yeah. We had to match that up by mm. size and colour and size. So it's like, I know, seriously boring, but I still remember, I think you were in... I was you away. You were in St. Petersburg, weren't you? And I remember sitting there with Andrew saying, are you sure? Yes. Oh, no, I, I remember sending me an email time. like, ah. I literally yeah. thought I'd have to... Yeah. Well, there, there, yeah. there's your low. That was my yeah. low, but it's in the past. Exactly. exactly. And there are more highs than lows. Yeah, well, that was yeah. actually the only low that think, really stands yeah, out. Yeah, I think so. I, I mean, there are times when you just think, what am I doing? Yeah. But generally, it's been good. And, and all the people we meet, that's what's so great as well. We've really... Yeah. I love some of the people that we've met. I love our factory. Yeah, amazing. yeah. I want them to be on a reality TV show because they're really, they're really great yeah. and quirky and. Fun. And the factory dog. And the factory dog. And um, who gets... she, our, um, who was the factory manager, she sent us a video of her. She's got installed in the factory. What is I it? did that. Yeah, you did. I what did is that? it? A trapeze. Yeah. It's so like she does this whole somersault thing. thing, and you, of course, went along exactly. and had a go. It was with really it. fun. So I don't think there's many factories where you have that kind of relationship where they send you videos of that. And then when their their dog had puppies sending me videos of all the puppies and do you know anybody wants to buy them? Anyway, they've gone now if anyone's interested. We, our factory's yeah. out there. Our factory, we love you. We think you're great. You're brilliant. You've been fantastic. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, it's been great. I think, for me, actually, one of the massive highlights has been being forced to try yeah, to do things. loads of different things, like yeah. a little bit of coding, coding mm. and... Yeah doing right now I'm trying to install a new app on our Shopify platform. I'm so glad you like that because it's really <laughs> not sure if like is the right word. Like, <laughs> Happy to do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm in, yeah. It's, I find it interesting. Yeah. It's a challenge. Yeah. But I think what's great for me anyway working with you is that we both have the same attitude to our lives. Yeah. And cucumber is obviously a very important part of that but as individuals we we value ourselves, so we both exactly. want to exercise, and we exactly. both want to you got your have a life. I've got my Wednesday basketball being so Wednesday sacrosanct. night, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, I do my Pilates, you do your yoga, or the dog, and it's important to have time out as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I'd rather that. I'm happier to do that and work later and fit cucumber around other things I'm doing. I don't think I'd want to go back to a nine to five office job. I think it'd be really difficult and actually having almost oh well I've almost I've always worked in fashion and fashion is a really female Yeah. It's a very female yeah, atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. I remember even years ago when I worked at Nicol Fari, it was great because there is an understanding that part of your job is having to represent your brand and you've got it's to gonna look, look good. good. Yeah. And so you know you had to take time out to go and get your hair cut, maybe get your nails done, go and get your waxing done. And it wasn't considered to be a frivolous also, afterthought. Yeah. It was just part of the routine yeah. and you just it just slotted in and I've continued with that because I feel like it is we do represent our brand. Absolutely. And you feel better for yeah. looking better. Yeah, yeah no, I, I We need to look that. at least passable. I don't know if we ever look amazing. Possibly we do, but <laughs> hoping that we do. But you know, at least if we look presentable, we're Absolutely. not doing our brand down. Yeah. Um, and talking of our brand, so I am wearing uh, actually wearing my favourite top. Uh, yeah, the wear top that I always, always wear. wear, but I thought I'd wear it because um, Arlene wears this a lot when you come back from your exactly. Um, I always throw it on after yeah. my hot yoga, but I have thrown it on after my hot yoga now four times in a row. So I thought I should wash it today, even though we hardly wash it. Really but I just, to, like, but I just it like it because like you can just wear it over anything. Really, I mean, I'm just wearing some pink yeah, jeans, but I just cute. quite like. Uh, Exactly. And uh, this has been really popular yeah, as well. I've been wearing the black PJ top. Actually, I haven't worn it so much recently this summer because it's been mm. so hot. Mm. But in fact, today it's just cooled down a little bit and it just feels really nice, nice interseasonal. Inter yes. um, so we're now at the point where we're thinking about our next collection. I know, it's so difficult. So difficult because it's, I mean, don't you find this fancy that it's always easy to think, this is what I love, like, I love this look, 
this is really something I think is interesting and appealing and I think it's really fresh. But then that doesn't necessarily mean that you will like that look. It doesn't necessarily mean that anybody else will like it. So it's, it's really difficult, don't you think, when you're planning... Mm -hmm. like, I mean, we do know vaguely what we want to do for our next collection, but... Shh. No, really. But it's a secret. Yeah. It's a secret right now. It's a secret. But it, sh it will be very... It will be very cute. Be you'll cute. want it yeah you'll want it well we'll <laughs> want it which is which is the main thing because i think it's really difficult if you make stuff that if we made stuff yeah that no we, we have did. to make stuff that we love yeah exactly, exactly but obviously i love some of the pieces more yeah. than others because that's just you know human nature exactly but all fits you perfectly it does fit me well because um you're looking at our fit model so if it doesn't fit nancy there's something seriously wrong with what we're doing but it does fit fit you it, it doesn't, doesn't fit it does fit you okay as long as we're clear <laughs> Um, and in fact, talking about fit models, so um, our pattern cutter. He's we a, love George. If you're watching this, great, we're he? saying hello to you and your and your um, helpers in your studio. We think you're amazing. Bulgarian. Is he Bulgarian? Romanian. Romanian, I think. Romanian. Yeah. 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 Don't move back to Romania. Not yet. No, he keeps threatening you it. You need to stay in London but just for a little um, while longer. I don't know what he, what he makes of us. But we like going there. <laughs> We've had some funny experiences. <laughs> Look, at the beginning, it's he thought we were quite green. I think I think, I think we probably were. I think. Um, no, I think we've got our little network of uh, people, haven't we? You know. Yeah, you know, and I love the fact that it's in. It's I all love, local. Like literally, yes. love the fact. Even with our first lovely factory, they were in um, yeah, Stratford, Stratford, and that was Stratford fine. East. Yeah. But it was. It still took quite a bit of time mm. to get there, and the fact that our factories are you know, 20 minutes away mm. from our house. Mm. And, you know, I can just We can just buzz think, them all the time. Exactly. <laughs> we can, we can practically live there, which they know. Do you remember that time when we were, we were checking all the barcodes on the boxes at the factory and you've got a picture of me and I'm so far in the box oh, yes. <laughs> that my head has actually disappeared yeah. into this box. No, and Donna we were living there pattern. then. Yeah. Oh, Donna, we love you too. Yeah. We, you're we just love everyone. Literally. Yeah, but we, we've met fantastic people. And actually yeah. the other thing, which is not to do with manufacturing, but is to do with more like the clienty businessy side, is I'll tell you, we are at the forefront. We are like we're really at the forefront of how people are working now, which we've realised. Oh, yeah, no, I was just listening on the radio about... an office. Yes, and not only that, but more and more people are not wanting to work, you know, wanting to work in their own ways, whether it's part-time, full-time, but take things on themselves, you know, not be tied into a particular... And thing. now that we're at the Albright, we have all our meetings there. Yeah. We use it as a workspace. And it's a nice it. place to go, and people, it's, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Nice little terrace in the sunshine. Nice terrace in the sunshine. I think we are at the forefront of this yeah. kind of different way. And the other thing I'd say we're at the forefront is all the sustainability, because I think for us, certainly, well, I think we agreed that it was important to us to launch a brand that was... You know, caring, sharing. Well, when so... you just dried out the other day, um, for various reasons, our very first oh, business yes. plan, do you remember? Yes. And on it, it says, you know, we want to be a yes. company that, you know, that community. has ethics. Yeah. We want to be a community. We want to, um, we want to invest in projects and charities, which are to yeah. do with things that relate to us, you know, women and women's health. Yeah. And we and we had it all done at the beginning. I feel quite proud looking yeah. back at that. But we managed to do it. I mean, you yeah. know, we're not a big company and we're by no means making millions yet but you know we managed to support Almost. support companies um in our own little way so you know the eva peel that was a really we did yeah. that really nice um, absolutely vlog with um, um athena, athena. and uh prevent breast cancer which is the only charity that she does exactly. research into breast cancer so i know i'm really proud of that and also i think that you know in terms of sustainability obviously we're slow fashion and things last a long time but the whole way we've managed to get rid of the plastic, you know, we can make those changes. Exactly. And I think I've really realised with all these things, not just with what we're doing, it's about making small steps. So the whole thing about like, um, you know, not flying or all these things, I'm still going to go on holiday. I'm kidding myself if I'm saying I'm not going to, but it's little things you do that yeah. make a difference. You know, we all have our bottles now and... I don't know, not using re reusable things, and you don't have to be perfect. Yeah. So I think that's yeah. what's great. It's about making small changes and just in your everyday life trying to think more, be more exactly. conscious of how you're doing. Well, the next age. change, as you know, that we're making is, um, for those of you who are watching this, hopefully, um, if you've had a nice cucumber box from us before, we're changing yeah, that yeah, because yeah. we've just decided, actually, we don't our clothes aren't going to break. Yeah. So we're using some really beautifully, um, beautifully made 
English made, yeah. um, recycled, brown paper, UK, what yeah. they call parcel bags, which just fold over. Um, you can reuse them, please keep them, reuse them. You can use them, you know, to go shopping in. You can reuse them to send off your own packets. Yeah. Reuse them even for composting if you want to. Um, but I think it's important. I mean, we will still have our boxes stuff. if people want yeah. to order yeah, absolutely. several things. But I think um, it's those small things that make a difference, isn't it? Yeah, less um, is more. Less is more. As Coco exactly. Chanel once said, <laughs> I think. And that's who we model ourselves on. We're going exactly. to be the next Chanel. Well, <laughs> no, I don't know. No. I'm happy. I'm happy to be the next Lululemon. Okay. I want to be in every woman's. All right, we'll be the next right, Lululemon. We'll the next <laughs> Lululemon. Ask me in five years. Well, who knows what we'll be in yeah. five years? I mean, I can't. But they, honestly, the last two years have just whizzed. They have. I can't believe it is our, as we call it, our two anniversary because um, it just feels like. Well, I think so much has happened. We just sent out that newsletter and yeah. I actually had to take out way more than yeah. I put in because And so I much think stuff going back happened. to what I was saying before about how, you know, you forget what you're doing because you're so involved in the minute details of every day. When we sent that out, you think, Wow, what have yeah. we done? And we're doing it all ourselves. Yeah. We don't yeah. have the funds to have outside marketing or outside anything really <laughs> exactly other than obviously manufacturing help with the design and things like that so you know i think we should pat ourselves yeah. on the back yeah i know i think it's good and i think people want to i mean i think the reason lisa armstrong and you know claudia winkleman all those people have written about us is because we have an interesting story to tell we're doing think, something a little different yeah i think we're doing something different and i think we're also doing it at nature where a lot of people sure. you know might still be we're in their original ourselves. job or we're, we're, yeah. we're doing something new and we're challenging ourselves and i think we both agree that whatever the arena whether it's you know mentally or physically it's just really great to challenge yourself Absolutely. and this has been like, a huge challenge on so many levels to us but it's been a fun challenge because um we, we have we've learned loads of stuff and it's like we opened our world up because we're world. meeting all these new interesting exactly. people exactly and i mean some of the women we've logged with yeah have been really interesting and so sean sutherland from a plastic exactly. planet and, and uh, carrie um uh, Longton from, yeah, um, from Mums Net. Mums Net and Alice Hart Davies, being yeah. journalist. And the woman um, who started Barago Press, co exactly. Barago Press. Yeah, yeah. Loads, no, loads of amazing. interesting women. We've yeah. got loads more lined up as well for um, the, coming, the coming months. And uh, how great for us just to meet them. Yeah, no, it's yeah. been a, it's been a huge pleasure. It's been a huge pleasure for us. And I think the other thing is we're at the stage where we, I mean, you and I are both the sandwich generation. I think we've become very aware of what is it going to be like for us in thirty years time. What will yeah. we be like? And I, I think want to it, stay relevant and interesting. Exactly, and interesting. exactly. Yeah. And I think it's really quite easy for us to see what we don't want to become. Yeah, it's also quite easy for us to see what we do want yeah. to be, which is we wanted to keep our open minds, open mm. hearts, open to challenges, and not shut down you know not shut ourselves down i mean the world is changing helped me. but yes it's super helpful and the world is changing very quickly and you know i'm sure our parents are like oh you young people and there are things with my kids where i just think oh really yeah but but now you force yourself to do absolutely it. yeah yeah so what and if, i want to understand this, what has this forced you to do so what what has been what has been nancy's <sighs> biggest challenge in learning like opening yourself up well as you know i'm not great with the uh, technology <laughs> so uh, i know you've got your in-house i do so support. my husband and they laugh at his work when i ring up and go david that the fact that he is my technical support now that is not my that's not my forte but you know i'm getting there um yeah, you've never met dropbox I you know, never, it seems so ridiculous, doesn't it? I know, you didn't... I yeah. barely sent an attachment You before. barely sent an attachment. I think partly because the last time I worked in an office, you know, the last time I worked in an office was before I had children, and... It wasn't a thing. I'm not sure the internet... Gosh, was the internet even... No, I don't think the internet... Yeah. When did the yeah. internet arrive? I would say early 90s. Yeah, yeah. so... Um, early there we go. 90s. Really showing my age now. Anyway, so that's been great. Um, but I just think, you know, we had a meeting the other day, didn't we, with a young woman in late 20s talking about intersectionality. Mm. Well, Hello, Lavinda. <laughs> so how interesting, though, and also to hear it from a young person, not in a preaching way, but what it all means. I mean, the world has changed. And so another of your skills is going to be just uh, sorting out this video for I us. I have so many new skills. You do. I can film. I, I've been... You know, I can. And actually, apps. I have to say, one of the best things I think for you, yeah, I would say, is that oh, you yeah. wouldn't have been in front of the camera. public speaker. I can, yeah, yeah. I know. Do you yeah. know I was terrified yeah. that first vlog. Look at you now. I literally yeah. hid behind the camera when you did that one with Tracy oh, yeah. and Fighting Fifty. So um, what's yeah. next? I don't. Well, I don't know. So was that a holiday? Are you glad you went on that holiday? Sure. 
A, I love a holiday. Come on. (laughs) Yes. Well, yeah, I mean, who knows? What would have happened if we had, well, maybe we would have come here a different way, a different route. I don't know. That's true. But it's been pretty good, hasn't it? It's been great. Yeah. And it's just makes you realise, you know, seize that moment. Seize the moment, exactly. Who knows? Exactly. Don't know where it's going to lead you. And, you know, whatever happens to Cucumber, it's been a fun ride. Exactly, it's been a fun ride. And hopefully we've got some happy people out there. I love Cucumber. And so stick with us. Keep us going for another two years. Watch this space. I think we're like, we're on a roll. We're We're on on a roll. roll. Let's count.